Welcome back to the Roby RoboSpot Remote Follow Spot system. Today we're going to talk about multi-device control. Now the RoboSpot can control up to 12 fixtures simultaneously. To synchronize the movement between multiple lights, RoboSpot uses a multi-point calibration process, starting with two points and moving all the way up to five points, depending on the complexity of the performance area. For a simple single level stage, two points should work well, but you can choose up to five points for more complex scenarios. Now let's go to the user icon menu on the big touch screen. Now select multi-device control and then select setup NVC. You'll see a prompt to map your zoom and focus before you start. We've already done this, so just tap on that prompt to close it. Now we choose which of the detected fixtures you want to include in NVC. Today we're going to use a T1 follow spot from the front four LED beam 150s from the back. Now click next. Let's choose our reference fixture. Now the reference fixture should have a camera and it should be the most centrally located of your fixtures. The RoboSpot will then take the position of this reference fixture and offset all the other fixtures to match it. If you do move outside your performance area, all the fixtures except the reference fixture will black out until you return to that area. Now we're going to choose our T1 follow spot as our reference fixture, and we're going to press next. Now it's asking us to set up our devices to the first point. Now I like to choose points that define our working space. So a good start is picking two points diagonally across from each other, as far off stage, down stage, and up stage as your performer will go. Here's a few things worth mentioning as far as fixture placement goes. Try to keep the fixtures outside of your performance area so that the head doesn't go past its center tilt position. This will avoid that dreaded fixture flip. Now this isn't a software issue, it's just due to the limitations of a pan and tilt yoke system. Now also make sure your fixtures are hung with the bases either parallel or perpendicular to the ground. If you're using the floor for your focus points, it's important that all your points are at the same height. Now, if your performer is going out into the audience, you'll need to include that area in your point selection. Now, in most cases, the stage level will be higher than the audience level. So you'll need some sort of marker to raise that audience point to the level of the stage. Now, a simple mic stand with a tennis ball is a great tool for this. Here's a shot from one of our friends on tour. They'll recognize that setup when they see this. Now, let's get back to setting up our calibration. Let's select our first fixture. Now, don't confuse this darker gray background indicating our reference fixture with the highlighted background you get when you actually select the fixture. Now, we can use our handles to move our fixture to that first point. There we go. Now we can use the next and previous buttons that automatically deselect the current fixture and select the next fixture. Or you can simply just deselect one and select the other one. Now when you have several fixtures hung in the same area with similar orientation, you can select multiple fixtures and move them together to get them all in the same general area. And then you can grab each one individually to move them to your point. So let's grab our four LED beam 150s and move them together. Now, I'll select them one at a time to get them precisely on the same point. Here's our first lead beam. And now the second fixture. And the third lead beam. And finally, our last lead beam. Now let's press next and repeat this process for our second point. Let's grab the T1 first and move it over to our second point. Now 
Now let's grab the four lead beam 150s and move those over to their second floor. Now let me grab each one and get them right on that point. Here's the second one. And our third fixture. And our last lead beam 150. there we go. Now you'll see a previous and next option, which lets you step back or forth in the calibration process, as well as a calc option. If you want to see what your two-point calibration looks like, just press calc. Let's wait a few seconds while the RoboSpot calculates the offsets for those fixtures. And now let's test it out. And that looks pretty good. Now, if you want to add more points, step back to the previous screen, and instead of choosing Calc, press Next. Now you'll move on to that third point. You can repeat this process until you've added a fifth point. If you're using this in touring application, start with as few points as possible. This will make you refocus for each show much quicker. If it's an installation, then you can really fine tune things since you'll only be doing it once. Also, remember to use the Load feature found in our first MVC setup window. This lets you load a previously saved setup and adjust the points without having to start from scratch. And that's multi-voice control. You can see it's fast and simple. Now we'll get into some of the advanced features like height offset and dimmer maps in the next video. If you still have any questions, send an email to info at and we'll put you in touch with someone to help you. Thanks for watching.